6,900 and, I don't know, 20 or 40 pounds, something like that. This is a new floor plan at the time of this filming. This is the 29BHDB bunkhouse dual bathroom. This is a bath and a half, half ton towable family bunkhouse. Um, now, I, I do apologize if I seem a little perturbed at a couple points here, if I seem to go off topic. I had a beautiful 25 minute video of this thing all done. I uploaded it two or three days ago and YouTube ate it. So I had it all opened up, I had the awning open, you guys could see everything. And in the meantime, our team has done its job. We got it parked over here at our lot here at Coldwater, Michigan at Halet RV. And now I need to reshoot this thing. So I'm kind of packed into close quarters. So if I have to do a lot of sweeping up and down, I'm trying to give you the full picture. Um, so if you are ever curious, if you like what you see, you want to learn more about it, spare tire cover right here, by the way, propane cover down here, by the way. Um, uh, there's a link in the video description, or you're welcome anytime to call our team here at Halet RV to see if we have one in stock, how it is equipped, and what we are asking. Because this may not be the exact one we have in stock. The one we have in stock could be equipped differently. There may be different discount packages available at the time. Um, that can affect things like pricing. Now we clearly publish pricing on every unit here at Halet RV, and uh, we don't play the hidden fees game. Our price includes things like getting it shipped here and getting it quality checked and all that. It includes your propane and your batteries and all those things. Um, you know, if you want to know exactly every single thing down to the nut bolt detail, give us a ring. We're more than happy to put it. We put everything right on paper, so you know where we're at. Our price won't change if you do or don't have a trade. It doesn't matter. So this is and has been the number one selling family of RVs since 2005 and counting. The J-Flight is the champion, not just of trailers, but fifth wheels, trailers, anything. The number one seller. Why? Well, it's a bunch of little things, but there are a couple major factors, and I think their warranty is part of it. J-Flight uh, has better material selection, which, you know, you can definitely find an RV that is a dollar less, but you're going to maybe get a dollar less for it. That's maybe subjective. The term value is a very subjective personal term, but overall, these guys have been showing they are the number one valued trailer on the market. Well, RV, period. Little things go into it. First of all, it does have a big advantage that it has twice the industry standard warranty. And remember, there is no one who has a longer warranty than a Jayco. A few guys have tried to step up to bat to match it. A few of those have actually already fallen off the horse and fa fallen back down. Like we've got, uh, J-Flight was the first to standardize uh, LED lighting under their power awnings. And this year they go into an easy tilt awning on the opposite side with um, speakers built into the awning arms. You see the, the uh, higher grade power tongue jack on the front. You can get these with an insulation thermal package. This one, because uh, we, we needed, we wanted this floor plan as soon as possible. So this is what Jayco calls their standard loadout. This is the standard equipment package Jayco tends to build these with. Um, it's not exactly how we would normally build ours. So once again, definitely give our team here at Halet RV a call or visit our website, because we clearly publish uh, all the options and upgrades on a per model basis, uh, along with videos like these. So, kind of like a car commercial, this might be different. Little Jayco advantages. In this class, tinted UV windows are not standard. Um, slide side windows are not standard. So getting more privacy, more airflow, uh, more protection from UV fading of your interior. That's what you're getting here. It also keeps the camper cooler. Uh, black tank flush outside shower with a hot and cold water sprayer type thing. That's not standard in this class. Um, LED, not just taillights, but marker lights. That's not even standard in luxury fifth wheels yet, which really surprises me, but Jayco does it on all of their stuff. And here's a little detail thing. They top seal all of their components. In theory, there should be no reason there should ever be a fault or failure here. But with like over 40 some odd years of experience, Jayco's seen a thing or two. So they go an extra step and they top seal all their components to help, you know, water runoff from damaging anything. Now, you, uh, when I was pointing at the diamond plate up front, if you had really keen eyes, you might notice how that diamond plate uh, actually wraps all the way down around the chassis. And part of the reason it's able to do that is these have a custom engineered chassis with a uh, um, integrated A-frame. Now what that creates is very interesting. It allows this RV to be taller inside without being taller outside. It's got a lower floor. That means lower center of towing gravity. That means easier, better handling. It means more headroom on the inside. It's a really big waterfall effect. Three inches can make all of the difference. Now, when you see a bracket on the back like this, that's the dead giveaway that this has an RVQ grill included with it. 
um, that's an option and it goes along with the little low profile outside kitchen that you have over here and I like how they do this um, this is actually it's got its own struts built into it so it's like telescopic and it will hold itself open or shut sort of like a residential soft closed drawer in a sense but kind of the same concept just a different application so what this gives us is the ability to have a real sink with a drain with hot and cold water not the dog dish the dog dish is fine there's nothing wrong with it this is just better and really the difference between good and better is the entire story of a J flight you know there's there's good ways to make an outside kitchen they decided to make a better outside kitchen there's good campers out there they decided to make a better camper out there you know little things like that now I, I wish I had this awning open for you again I do apologize so you can't really see how big this is, but it's a huge long awning. It Notice it starts at the back of the camper and it does cover the outside kitchen and then it goes all the way past the main entry door. So uh, you go past these Goodyear Endurance radial tires. That's another thing. They've got, you know, American sourced radials on these things. Jayco rides on American rubber sneakers. Bigger uh, triple step entry instead of double. And remember, with a little lower floor, it's a little bit easier angle of attack and incline here. Um, the bigger entry handle for easy come and go. Little things like that. A wider entry door. A strutted entry door so it doesn't bang against the side of the coach when you open it up. Step it inside. The extra interior height is something that is immediately noticeable. Even for people who are completely new and uneducated on this business. So you've got a very good all LED interior lighting package in here. Um, it really brightens up. And uh, Jayco actually does spend more money on lights and windows than anyone in this class of which I am aware. Um, so this is the standard bifold sleeper sofa. There's a little bit of storage under it. Looks like someone had a kid in here with dirty shoes who was kind enough to step on it. The good news, we clean our campers in as part of the price tag of uh, the RV here at Haylet RV before you take it home, so don't worry about that. Really driving me nuts that my original video got uh, crushed. Oh well. So remember, three inch taller ceiling means taller slide out, taller shower. Well, shower's actually behind me, taller bunks taller overhead kitchen cabinets. Now, three inches doesn't sound like a lot, but it's enough that lets them put a shelf in here to double the kitchen storage uh, overhead. It's enough to give an extra inch and a half per bunk, which for a big guy like me, it, I actually like that because on a Jayco, I can easily climb into this upper bunk and it's enough room that I could be on my hands and knees without my back bashing against the ceiling panel and I can turn around and get cool camera shots. So it does, I mean, it makes it an adult size bunk. Um, you know, the shower allows me to stand up in it. Now, there's different decors available. This is called tumbleweed. Um, this is the the, the neutral-ish brown, the milk chocolate of the in RV industry, you know. But everybody's got some kind of brown. This is the leatherette sort of touch thing. It holds up really well against kids is why we like it. Now, you can get uh, a thermal package on these, which enclosed forest air heats, insulates the underbelly, adds insulation to the slide outs and the roof all over the place. It gives it like an, an Eagle fifth wheel level insulation package. That's not standard. So again, re remember that it could be different, the one we have in stock versus what you see here. Now this is a full true U-Dinette. There are a lot of guys using a, uh, a stubby, thin U-Dinette. This is a full one. The difference is this folds down into like a seven foot bed. Now they do maintain easy access to all the under bench storage with these handy little pull out totes, which is pretty cool. Not, not fancy. But you know what? It's super easy and effective, and little things like that are the things that Jayco does the others don't. And putting together videos like this, that's the stuff that Halet RV does the others don't. Having the ability to do everything in one spot, even if it's a truck and trailer package deal, RV delivery or hitching and parts, we do everything at Halet RV. That beautiful skylight with that shade up here so you don't feel like an ant under the magnifying glass, that is an option that goes into these. Um, the uh we'll come back to the kitchen i don't want to pass that yet uh or you know forget about it but i have a specific order i tend to remember things 
I used to say that Jayco's bunk mats were 50% thicker. At this stage in the industry, the other guys have gotten their mattresses thinner and Jayco hasn't. They're now double industry standard thickness. The kids will sleep better, they sleep better, you're going to have a better time. Actually, you've got a better mattress up front. We'll talk about that in a little bit too. 600 pound rated upper bunk, so 300 pounds per sleeping space. That's the best in class. A few guys match that. Nobody exceeds it. And they add the little handle here so it's easier for the bigger kids to get to the upper bed. And you'll notice you see little outlets here so the kids can have their own devices running. Now, even that tiny little porthole window still opens for airflow up here. And that's the little Jayco advantage, the extra things they do. Now, it's uh, very important to note, you've got a dedicated kitchen pantry. We haven't talked about that yet. So this is just dedicated bonus storage, whether it's linens for the bathroom, clothing for the kids, overflow pantry space. No such thing as too much storage. Now, here is where this floor plan rocks. Um, historically, walk-through middle master bathrooms like this have not been the most popular. The reason being, people say, well, if my, one of my kids is using the bathroom, I'm either locked into or out of my, my master bedroom. Well, by having that bonus half bath back there, what you've created is, hey, all you unwashed masses, you children and my guests, this is my guest bathroom. This is the kids' bathroom. This is their bathroom. This, stereotypically speaking, pardon me, is mom's bathroom. This is going to be mom and dad's place right here. And, uh, you know, you can get mad at me and call me a chauvinist if you want. I ain't running for office and stereotypes exist for a reason. They are often true. Doesn't mean they have to be derogatory. You know, a stereotype doesn't have to be derogatory. Anyway, so... Mom, dad, whoever, grandpa, grandma, I don't care. Apply whatever badging you prefer. This is the kids' half bath back here. This is where guests can come and wash their hands and use the bathroom. It doesn't have to be fancy. It's just enough for kids to do utility work back here, basically. But look at this supreme attention to detail. It's not an accident. This is purpose-built, this exact size right here, so you can have, like, toothbrush holders and things back here for the kids so they don't have to be mucking around mom and dad's master bath. At night, kids can hop down in and out of the bed, uh, go to the bathroom, go back to bed, never disturb anybody. Those extra little details, that thought, that being able to put themselves into the camper and imagine how it's going to be used. That's what Jayco calls livability. That's that human factor that so many brands miss. This isn't, this floor plan was not designed by an engineer. This floor plan was designed by uh, like, a per, like a mom, a dad, a person who goes camping built this floor plan. So flip it around here real quick. Before we get to the kitchen, right as you walk in the door, we've got this big shoe garage down here. You can sleep a bunch of people in this floor plan. It's nice to get at least some of their shoes from piling up by the entry door. Now, you will get a big TV. My original video had the beautiful brand new big TV installed in it. And unfortunately, thank you YouTube, ate my video. So you have to take my word for it. But the good news is you get a TV standard with these. Now they have magnetic locks. So you don't need straps. This is not going to fall out during transit. You can also get a free app for your phone, Android or iPhone, that'll turn this thing right here, or well, turn your phone into a Bluetooth remote for that right there. Really handy for streaming music folks, enthusiasts. So we already saw the extra overhead cabinetry here. As I move around, I want to point out, now the camera is not very forgiving. Digital cameras, the way they process imagery, they have a hard time discerning light from dark contrast and they make it seem harsher than it is. When I get closer to the wood, you can see it's actually a much softer. It's not that dark blackness that it looks like, but, <clears throat> and, and the human eye sees it that way, but standing back here, it looks almost black, but that light dark contrast is also in, in conjunction with the extra interior height, what makes this RV look and feel so expansive inside. Now, J-Flight was the first, and I'm not sure if they're not still the only, um, I guess you'd call it like stick-built travel trailer out there, to have a larger 8 cubic foot fridge and freezer. Um, and that's standard. If another brand even gives you the option of going to the bigger fridge, it's the same one that's already standard in a J-Flight. Standardization uh, controls cost and improves quality through repetition. Stainless appliance bundle, which is really sharp too. And floor to ceiling, 6 foot 9 inch tall pantry. Because how much is too much storage? Trick question, does not exist. Too much storage does not exist. Little touches like real tile backsplash, not a cheap 
wallpaper, you know, nice of these. Now, if the camp, another camper you're looking at has wallpaper, that I'm not saying it's a bad camper. We live in such a kindergarten country where everyone assumes that, well, you didn't say it was good, so that must mean you said it was bad. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's different. You spend your money how you want to. J Flight is the brand that does more of the things, not less of the things. That means that they might be a little heavier. It means they might be a little more money, but it's also going to give you more of those nicety features. Like little stuff like this. Find another travel trailer that has a fifth wheel kitchen arrangement like this. Like you've got a fitted cutting board style sink cover, but then you've got this cool little roll up aluminum drying rack, which is just, these have been really popular with our customers who have already gotten into a few of these. It lets them just drip dry stuff. And it's one less thing you need sitting on top of the countertop. You can put stuff there. I like too that they include a space for a wastebasket. That's an often overlooked feature. It's one of the little things I love about them here at Haylid RV. Now, start counting the drawers with me. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Four of them. Well, uh, you know, if you, it, it, like, you take that for granted, you're like, why is he talking about that? Because if you start counting the drawers in other brands, you're going to find out they have two, maybe three. J Flights even add an extra drawer that's not common in this business. All this little stuff adds up, guys. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's take a look at this beautiful master bathroom. Now, check this big honking shower out. It is three foot, or pardon me, three and a half foot wide, three foot deep. This is a monstrous shower. If I put my head up here like I'm trying to wash my hands or wash my hair, what little hair I have, you, you can't, you, you're not hitting the wall. Even a big tall guy like me, you're not hitting the wall. Now, did you notice too? I'm not in the skylight. I'm away from the skylight. I've got all kinds of headroom in here. That's literally the reason I personally choose to camp in a J flight. There's awesome, awesome RVs out there. Don't get me wrong. There's, uh, there's things I look at every day going, oh, I want that. But you know what? I, I have a basic, the, the little brother to this, the J Flight SLX, is where I spend most of my time. And it gets the job done. It's simple, it's effective, but it's a little bit taller and it fits me. Now look at this master bathroom. This is not a small sink. It's a good adult size sink. But again, they left that extra counter space. And I love that they leave the little bit of space behind the faucet because that's where you're going to put your toothbrush and your uh, soaps and stuff. Super smart. They leave this open for your extra toilet papers. They have an outlet over here away from the sink. It is GFI protected, by the way, for your um, like uh, blow dryers and stuff. And they have a, a big, deep medicine cabinet where you can keep big stuff in here. You know, this this is awesome. You've got this giant fifth wheel sized. I, I, I don't know. I'm not judging. But hey, this is a shower that could fit two people. I'm not saying. I'm just saying you do what you got to do anyway. Uh, this little blue LED light, terribly unimpressive in and of itself until the lights turn down. When the when you're not getting all this light from the skylight causing this white shower to, to just billow light into this thing, this little blue light right here will make this whole shower glow. It'll make the sink and the toilet glow just a little bit. It'll be discernible from pitch blackness so that at night, if you need to wake up, you need to close this door, you need to partition off your private middle bedroom, or bathroom here, you can get in and out of here, you can do your business without disrupting your partner, and that is a very cool, very rarely found feature. So obviously we've talked about the sliding pocket door up front here, let's talk about the bedding. This is a true queen, 60 by 80 inch true queen bed. It's hard to see that from here, but that is the case. It is also, if I lift up these really nice linens, these are like really nice, Simmons. That's a residential bed. I mean, not residential sized, that is a residential bed. Period. End of sentence. You know, extra, like a lot of brands have outlets and USB plugs on the side of the bed, you know, but not a lot of brands do stuff like this. Not a lot of brands fully trim out their windows. You want to know a cool side effect of that? Um, these very nice, like pull down privacy shades right here. And look how well they block the light out, by the way. Um, most of the time they're just anchored into just a Luan panel. You know, you can bend these things with your fingers if you push on it. There's not a lot for a screw to bite there, except now... Look at that. Now this thing's got like a half to three quarter inch to bite into. It's probably deeper than the screw is itself. So my expectation is I don't see these things getting pulled out and they, they even feel more solid already. I don't see them getting bumped and broken and pulled out of the wall with any level of frequency. Not, not like we saw historically. TV hookups up there, by the way. So I, I feel like I've missed something um, because I, I, again, I'm still distracted by the fact that my dog ate my homework and YouTube ate my video and I'm still like really, you know, 
frustrated over that. But anyway, I think you get the idea. This is a, at the time of this filming, it's what I call a unicorn. There are only a handful of bath and a half bunkhouse models out there. And this is the only one remotely like this I have ever seen. And it's a very cool floor plan. Um, you know, it, it does, it, it has overcome a lot of the potential flaws of like a walkthrough middle bathroom by adding that extra half bath. It just does neat things you don't normally find. And sometimes, you know what, some people just like different. I get that. Sometimes I just don't want to be mainstream and I want to do different. Maybe this one will fit your needs that way and make you just, make you feel like you've got the one neat thing no one else does. I don't know. Whatever works for you, we got it here at Haylet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.